guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I wanted to test out another one of the Delancey or Affion monochromatic eyeshadow palettes that are just like all one color based and a specific color theme. I decided after I tried the green one, which is the avocado one by Delancey, to go ahead and snag the other ones and try them out. So today I'm trying out the purple one. Now as you can see, it says Affion or Affion on the palette. So I'm not sure how Affion and Delancey are connected, but I know I do see these palettes on the Delancey page as well as on the Affion page. So somehow they're connected, but anyway. I decided to try out these palettes. So today I have the purple one. I already used the green one, which I will link above. I did snag the orange one, when I still, which I still need to try, and the blue one, and this one. So today I'm trying out this purple one. Now these palettes do have mirrors inside. As you can see, there are 15 shadows in this palette. And it's a very, very beautiful arrangement of purples. So, of course, I use this palette to create this eye look today, as you can see. And I, uh, I don't know. It's a pretty palette. The colors are pretty, but we'll kind of get into my thoughts after I do the swatches. But the price point on these palettes is $9.99. I do purchase mine off of Amazon because they're listed on there. I get the two day prime shipping and I will go ahead and link the um, Amazon link below. If you wanna use my link, go ahead. Thank you very much because I do get a very, very small commission from my Amazon link. Um, but yes, I will go ahead and link that below if you do decide you wanna purchase these using my link. So this is the purple one. Let me go ahead and do some swatches for you guys and then I'll kinda of give you my thoughts on this palette. Those are the swatches, you guys. As you can see, very, very pretty, very pretty palette. Now, my first complaint about this palette is the glitters are very, very loose. They're very loosely pressed, and I don't like that because <laughs> it's basically like a loose glitter just gently pressed into the pan. Although the glitters are very pretty, um, it doesn't have enough of, you know, a solution or a medium in it to adhere it to your eyes without a glitter glue. With these, I honestly feel like you have no business putting this on your eye. First of all, glitter is not safe for your eye, but if you're crazy like me and you do use it, you have no business putting this on without a glitter glue because it will fall, it will get everywhere. It's extremely loose. Um, as far as these satin shades, they're very, very pretty, very light. They don't have that like super brilliant pop of brightness that, you know, you kind of like to get with shimmers and satins in a palette. They're definitely more satins than shimmers in my opinion, but they are very pretty. Now, as far as the mattes go, um, even though it looks in the palette like they go pretty dark, as you can see, when I swatch them on my arm, they just it just doesn't go dark enough for me. I really, really wish that there was like one of those deep, deep, dark, like blue purples in here, you know, where it looks like a cross between navy blue and dark purple. I would really like that because it would allow me to take my eye look to another level. Like this is as dramatic as I can get with this palette. I can't get any darker, I can't get any deeper. This is as dark as it goes because I used the darkest shades in this eye look as well as some of the lighter shades and glitter, all of that. So this is as dramatic as I can get with this palette and I wish I could go a little deeper. now. 
Of course, I have other palettes that I can do and that I can use if I do wanna go a little bit deeper. No big deal, but for this palette by itself, if this was the only palette I had, I would be a little disappointed that there's not a blurple, <laughs> a blue purple in this palette so I can go really, really deep and smoky. Other than that, the way the shadows performed, they blended out very nice. I had no issues with blending. The pigment is there when I placed it down. It's very, very true to what is in the palette. You can definitely see that, you know, this color here is this darker purple, this lighter kind of more red tone purple, you know, is this one here. So you can definitely see the colors translate from the palette onto my eyes. Although I do like the way the glitter looks because I like glitter in general, you know. <laughs> I do love glitter. Um, these glitters, the colors, they're pretty, but they're very kind of cool tone to me, you know, so it's, yeah, eh. I don't know. I'm just, I'm not in love with this palette. I don't hate it, but I'm not in love with it. So take that how you will. <laughs> you know, it's definitely something where it's just a preference situation. It's not, there's nothing wrong with this palette for $9.99, 15 shades. You can create a beautiful purple look with it. If you like glitter, you have your glitter. You better use a glitter glue though, I'm telling you. But other than that, I don't have any issues or complaints. Performed excellently, no issues, no problems. I just wish it went a little bit deeper. So anyways, those are just my first impression thoughts on this Atheon palette. Delancey monochromatic palette that you can pick up on Amazon or I'm sure on their website. If you'd like to see how I created this look today, then stay tuned because it's coming up next.